Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This week I've got this lawnmower to have a look at. I picked this up last week off of the Facebook Marketplace uh, as a spares or repairs lawnmower. It's got a few problems so we need to have a look today and see if we can get it going. This is a Homelite HL454HP um, with a Mountfield V35 engine. It's pretty much a Mountfield lawnmower branded as a Homelite I think. So the man I bought this off of said that he put it away in the shed, got it out this year and he just couldn't get it started. So that's why he was selling it. Um, I can see he's tried very hard to get it started. Um, see it needs a new handle on there. Need to recoil this, fix this recoil, put some new rope on there. Probably needs a carburetor clean. He was kind enough to give me the manual for it as well, so that's a good selling point. And he's also replaced a spark plug, so that's one less thing that we have to do. So I'm gonna start off by repairing this recoil, put some new rope on here and uh, a new handle on there and then hopefully we'll have a better chance of getting this started. So let's take a closer look at the lawnmower and see what we've got. See the deck's in pretty good condition. All the wheel caps are on there. It's got a new Champion Spark plug. The air filter is lovely and clean. This hasn't had much usage at all. It's got a slight bit of corrosion in there, but you're bound to get a little bit of corrosion, especially on these cheaper lawnmowers. But that is still very good condition. I'll try and get this sticker off here. It's three nuts on the top, 10 mil nuts. And one more at the back here. And then this whole top cover can just be lifted off like that. Put the lawnmower to one side. Right, so all we need to repair this is some new rope. I've got some new rope here. I'll put a link to this in the description below if you want to get some. Um, I've got a new handle here for it because this one's broken. Got a screwdriver, a lighter, and some scissors to cut the rope. So here I've got a screw, so I'm gonna loosen that off. And it's not a conventional thread, so it's righty, loosey, lefty, tighty, as opposed to righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So let's loosen that off. So with the screw out of the middle, I can carefully try and lift this out, being careful of the spring, and the spring is actually broken. You can see this little piece here has come off. That's supposed to be on the end of this spring. So I need to bend a new end on that, and then this should work much better. So I'm gonna need some pliers to bend a new hook on this, and it's gotta be facing the same direction as this one. So let's cut this rope off. Being really careful not to pull this spring out because if you pull this spring out, they're a right pain to get back in. Let's bend that spring over there. It's just not quite in the right place. It wants to be there. And because it's got shorter, we need to bend it over a bit. That's a bit better. should hopefully lock in now. Yeah, you can see it's got the spring on it now. Let's put this screw back in so the spring doesn't jump out when I'm talking it up. Right, let's turn this so we tighten up the spring. I've put a line here so we know how many turns we're doing and I'm gonna turn this anti-clockwise. Probably eight or nine turns, so that's one, 
to I think nine should do it. So I'm just holding this steady with my hands. Some of them you can poke a screwdriver through with this particular one, it's a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna get my new rope now and I'm gonna feed that through the hole. And pull it out here. And then I'm gonna try and hold this steady while I just tie a knot in the end of this. Just pull that tight. And now you can carefully let the new rope go onto the coil. So that would have to be it there. Let me check. We've got enough rope on there. Oh, there's plenty on there. I'm gonna cut it with a little bit of excess. This is a nylon rope, so you can get a lighter on there. And just burn the loose end. And that melts it a little bit so it doesn't fray. And it makes it easier to get through the new handle. So let's burn that. New handle on there. Couple of knots. Actually one will be enough. Let's trim this back a little to make it look neater. Get my lighter and just burn the loose ends. Lovely job. So I can put that back in there. So in order to determine whether this is an ignition or a fueling issue, I'm just going to spray a bit of carb spray just in the carb there, just give it a little taste. And if that starts now, then it's highly likely that the carb is blocked up. Right, so because we got it to run on a little bit of carburetor cleaner, that tells me that the carburetor is blocked up. It wouldn't run at all if it was an ignition problem. Um, and then it died as soon as it ran out of carb spray. So let's remove the carburetor and give that a clean. a couple of bolts. Let's take these long carb bolts out. Let's take that out of the way. So here's our carburetor. Let's take the fuel line off. Drain the tank out. We can go ahead and disconnect this choke link here and the throttle link there. And here we have our dirty carb that we need to give a clean. But let's start by giving the outside a clean. With some carb spray. This carb's a little bit corroded on the outside, but it shouldn't affect the operation. Let's try and save this gasket. You know what? I might just leave that gasket on there actually. Oh, yeah, look, it's filthy in there. Needs a good clean, doesn't it? Got some carb cleaner. This is absolutely filthy. So it's going to need a bit of scrubbing. It would be 
ideal to have an ultrasonic cleaner for this, but it is coming off. There we go, that's much better. So once the part's clean, I just put that to one side. Next, let's pull out this float pin. Let's remove the float and this needle valve in here. It's got a spring on this one. That doesn't look in bad condition actually. It just needs a bit of a clean off. See, so you've got this mucky stuff. Let's have a look at these jets, see how blocked up they are. Right. Take this main jet out. Have a look at this. That's so blocked up. There's no fuel getting through there, is there? So let's get some carb cleaner. Just spray that through there. Clean the blockage out. Now I know people have moaned at me about doing this before, but I like to get a sewing needle and just poke it through there. Just be careful you don't scratch the brass. Up in here we've also got the pilot jet. That doesn't want to come out, so I've got this tool here. So I can just put that in there carefully. Press it out. Now we need to make sure all these little holes in this are clean and that we can spray right down through the middle. So again with my needle, I'm just going to carefully poke through all these little holes and make sure that they're all clear. And this is going to run so much better. Well, it's going to run. I've got a very fine brush here. I can poke that. Down the jet. So now, if I put my finger over the end and spray through here, I should see carb cleaner coming out of all the little holes. I want to get up in all these little holes and give it a good spray through. Make sure all the little passageways are clear. So with all the parts clean, let's put it back together. Just double checking as we go. So that lives up in there. And then we're gonna screw this main jet into the hole. Careful because it's only brass. Just gonna snug that down. Not gonna go mad. Just until it stops. Now I'm going to get this little needle valve. Pop that in the float. And that sits on top of there. Get the pin. Slide it through the float. Put the bowl back on the bottom and screw it up. And it wants to go with the screw pointing that way, I think. Yeah, towards the front of the engine. Let's nip that up. So the carb's nice and clean, so I can go ahead and put this back on. And it goes in there. That on there. Let's put the fuel hose on. All this is just a little bit of light corrosion here on the carb. It's not a lot I can do about that. 
put that breather pipe on the back of here. Make sure the gaskets are in place. Just nip them up. Don't go mad. Let's put the air filter on and the cover. Now let's put some fresh petrol on it and see if it starts. left to do now is give it a quick clean up make it look presentable if we have a look underneath the mower it's in pretty good nick the blades in good condition it hasn't got any big chunks or notches taken out of it not much corrosion under there at all I just need to try and get rid of this sticky residue where this sticker used to be. Um, I'm just going to use a bit of white spirit and hopefully that'll get it off. Oh yeah, works a treat. That's this one all fixed up. I'll drain the fuel out of this so it's not got fuel sitting in the carburetor over the winter and that way it shouldn't get all blocked up. And then next year in the springtime, I'll put this up back on the selling page and try and sell it on for a bit of profit. Thank you for watching this video and for supporting the channel. I hope you found this video useful and you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please consider subscribing. And if you click that little alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Take care.